Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I want to talk about an app that I was waiting to come to Android for some time now. And the app is Notebook LM, but it's not without some limitations. Google has uh, skipped some really important features from this app and I'll talk about them later in this video. So stick till the end. And with that, let's get started. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Notebook LM app. You can see here that it has a very clean interface. Down here we have create new option. Then we have uh, recent notebooks, shared notebooks, titles, and downloaded notebooks. So if I tap on create new, you can add PDF files, you can add website links, YouTube links, and you can add text here. Now, once you have done that, um, and in this case, you can see that I have added a YouTube link of one of my videos comparing Active 2 with BIP6, which is the recent video. Now it has given me a small summary of this video. It has done this automatically. I don't have to do anything about it. As soon as you add the source, it will generate this small summary. Now I can like it, dislike it, and I can copy it. Now here you will see that it says ask one source. And that's because I only have one link here, which is um, my YouTube video link. But I can tap add source and I can add more files here in the form of PDF, website links, YouTube links, and I can also copy text here. Now I can come back in the chat and I can ask it any question and it will go through those sources and bring me back the answers to my questions. You can also use it to understand complex concepts and create mind maps. If you have, if you're studying for college or school or anything like that, any particular subject that you're interested in, just upload the PDF here and ask it any question regarding that and it will bring back the answers from the sources that you have added here. And then I can ask it any question. So I've just given it this task display specifications and it will bring back the display specifications from both the watches. So there you go. We have this small summary of the display specifications of both the watches. Again, I can copy it, I can like it or dislike it. Now, let's talk about the best part of this app. And that is this option here, this right here, audio overview. If I tap on this, it will bring me to the studio tab. And now I can generate an audio overview of this topic. This is AI generated. Two voices will be discussing this topic with each other and I can listen to it. This can also improve your understanding, but it also comes with a very cool feature, which I'll explain once this audio overview is generated. Now it says here, this may take a few minutes, so no need to stick around. So you can just go back and do something else on your phone while this happens in the background. So finally, we have the audio overview ready to listen to. Let's first listen to it. Welcome to the deep dive. We've got a really interesting comparison lined up for you today. Yeah, we're looking at two smartwatches, the Amazfit Active 2 and the Amazfit BIP6. Exactly, and it's all based on a great... Now, this is a 12-minute overview. Now, these two voices are talking about this topic and bit by bit, they will explain the whole video by discussing it with each other. It's a very cool concept that Google has come up with. This is powered by Gemini and it's fantastic. It's great for understanding different topics or different concepts. If you're a student, this is great. If you're a researcher, this is even better, but you can use it in your day-to-day -day life to make things easier for you to understand and learn. It's fantastic. Now here, obviously you can share it. You can change the speed, go forward, go back, play pause, but you can also download this and have it on your phone all the time. Now let's go back and let me show you the magic that Google has done here. Now the second option here is interactive and it's in beta right now, but it's a fantastic feature. What this allows you to do is ask these two voices questions midway in their discussion. So you can join them and have them answer your questions directly. So let me show you how this works. So here you can see that I have this join button and these two voices are again talking with each other. Now I can join in by just tapping this join button. Hey guys, so I was just wondering if we can skip this all and uh, let's just talk about the display specifications first because I think that is the main uh, attraction of these two devices because it's an AMOLED display and I want to know more about it. Hey there, absolutely we can definitely dive into the display specs first. That's a great point. The AMOLED screens are a big selling point for both of these. So now they are discussing about display. So you can join their conversation, direct their conversation to where you want it to go and have them discuss what it is that you want. Exactly. The 
size and the shape are quite different. Clearer and it's just easier to read in general on that larger screen. Oh yeah, let's hear it. Hey guys, uh, sorry to bother you again, but um, I'm not interested in display anymore. Let's talk about the apps. No problem at all. We can definitely pivot to the apps. That's what's great about having you here with us. We can adjust on the fly. So both of these smartwatches run on Amsfit's latest operating system, Zap OS 4.5. And according to... So now they're talking about the apps and the app ecosystem. It's really cool and one of the fantastic features of Notebook LM. So here you can see that this app is very straightforward, very clean, very simple, but it is very limited as well because the web version gives you a lot more options. So let's go into the web version. So now we are in the web version. Let's go in this notebook. Now here you can see that straight away we have these three tabs, sources, chat, and studio. If I go in sources, I can add more sources, but I can also go ahead and discover sources. So I can go in here and I can add a topic and it will bring those sources back to me. I don't have to go on Google or search for these sources. I can just tell Notebook LM my interest and it will bring those sources to me from here. So this feature is missing in the app. Now if we go in chat, here you will see that this save to note option is also missing. So if you ask it to um, you know, talk about specifications or display and it brings back that answer, you have the option to save to note and it will be saved in the studio section here. This feature is also missing in the app and I think it's a crucial feature. I'm not sure why they have skipped it, but it should have been there. And then we have the mind map option, which was missing from the app as well. If I tap on mind map here, it will build a mind map specific to this conversation and it takes a bit of time. So now I can go in here and I have my mind map. So you can see how cool this is. Another feature missing from the app are these pre-made questions about the topic. So you can go through these questions on the web version. But this feature is missing from the app. Now, if we go in studio here, you will see that we have a lot more options. We have the uh, audio overview that we generated in the app that's also available here. We can also download it from here and delete it and all that stuff that you can do. There is an interactive mode here as well, but then there are some um, tabs here. So we can create a study guide. We can create a briefing doc, the timeline, facts, and then we have our saved notes here as well in the form of this note here and then our mind map. So the web version offers a lot more as compared to the app for now. I really hope that Google continue to add these features in the app because they're really important features and makes the experience uh, much better as compared to the app right now, which is very limited. Now, let me quickly show you the tab version of Notebook LM as well. So I've got my tab S10 FE here and there you go. That's the Notebook LM app on a tablet. And again, we have same options here. Nothing has changed. You can go in this notebook and you can go in your sources, in your chat and in your studio. And again, we have similar options. You can play the audio overview and you can go into the interactive beta, download it, delete it. So very similar experience to the phone. Nothing has changed. It's just the blown up version of the same app. So yeah, that's about it from this video, guys. This was the Notebook LM app for Android. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.